Hi everyone, so today is Monday the 15th of February and sorry I look disgusting, I've just rolled out of bed and had to pack all my stuff because I look like to leave things to the last minute for some reason. Tonight is a gig in Glasgow at the Hydro with All Time Low and Good Charlotte. I feel like I've not been to a gig in so long so I'm really excited to be able to let go, have a few drinks, you know, see people. Sorry my room's a mess in the background, that's what happens when I pack. All packed, ready to go. How to tell someone he's been shot at. Yeah. He said that there was a girl I knew that was. Morning guys, it's Wednesday today and I have still no voice but I'll explain that in a little bit but look it's snowing, it's so pretty. Hi everyone, so it's about 9 o'clock I think. Do you ever just have one of those days where you feel really shit about yourself? That's the kind of day I've had. Like I had such a good time on Monday with the all time low gig and stuff and then going out and meeting new people and things and then on Tuesday I lost my voice 
and I was completely wiped out from it. I feel like going out and having a good time and stuff. It totally knocks me off for the rest of the week because of my thyroid and it's really annoying. I guess it just annoys me that I can't be like everyone else and then when I think I can I end up being in bed for a few days having to recover and then I feel lazy for it. Don't know. Just feeling a bit rubbish today. So tomorrow's Thursday and I'm going into Edinburgh with Brian and then Friday's Walk the Moon and then early Saturday morning I'm getting the train to Newcastle to meet Ryan because he's got a fitness course. Grit Fitness I think. I think it is. I look a state but we're trying to groom my rabbit Ollie because I think he's getting his summer coat in because he's casting so much and he's just, it's so funny. Morning guys, it's around 9.30 and I'm going to Ikea with Ryan and the Nike store as well in Edinburgh so I'm just getting ready. I'll just chat to you while I'm getting ready. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Remind Concealer but um, yesterday I was just having an off day. It's a bit too dark for me but I'm trying to use it up. Um, yeah, yesterday I felt like shit, basically, but I feel loads better now. Um, I don't know what was wrong with me, just one of those days. I wish my voice would go back to normal, though. it's really annoying. I'm sorry guys, the, the one week I go to vlog and I lose my voice on the first day. But what can you do? I don't really know what to say. Um, not got much planned today apart from that. I'm going to IKEA and the Nike store in Edinburgh. Ryan starts work I think around two. So it's not gonna be a long trip. I'm still not unpacked properly from Glasgow. That's where I was. My brain's not working. I got the new Charlotte, it's not new, it's new to me. I got the Charlotte Tilbury film Star Bronze and Glow and Monday was the first time I tried it. That's what it looks like. It's really nice. I thought I'd, I was trying to get a contour shade that wasn't too dark for me because I'm so pale and it works really well so I'm happy with that. That's the concealer I was looking for. This is going to end up turning into like a haul but I also got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I've never tried it before. I usually use... what is it? Benefits Boing Concealer in number one of course. That's really good. Ollie!
absolutely beautiful. Yes. Hi guys, I'm really sorry I've not vlogged all day today. I stayed at Ryan's last night and then he left. He dropped me off and then left for Newcastle because he, he's taken the car down but I'm getting a train tomorrow morning. Walk the Moon was tonight and it was so good. I love them so much. It was a really good atmosphere. And Queen's Hall is such a strange place to have a gig though. It was in Edinburgh, not Glasgow. I got cider and black curtain as I always do for a gig. And it was the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted in my life. I couldn't even finish it and I'm so glad that wasn't like before all time low I was really looking forward to getting a cider and black current because that's kind of a tradition at a gig for me and my friends. I'm so glad that Walk the Moon wasn't the first cider and black current I had in months because I would have been so disappointed. Um, yeah, they were really good. <laughs> And they come on to the circle of life that and their first song I missed because I've not told you guys I don't think but I've been breaking out in hives for the past maybe a month now I don't know what's triggering it which is the annoying thing and I've been tested for a, a gluten or a wheat intolerance and like I got a blood test that tested for all the food allergies and it just came up that I wasn't allergic to anything. But then I went and saw someone that, that she wasn't a doctor but she thought I might have a gluten or a um, dairy intolerance. It wasn't giving me much option on what else I could eat and she thought that's why I was having the hives. But again, she's not a doctor. And I was going to say that it's my hives that I've been breaking out. I get them all over my hips, my legs, my arms, sometimes my hands, my chest. Actually, I'll insert a few pictures um, just to show you how bad it is. But um, I didn't know what was causing them, which is so frustrating. The point of my story was that I missed them coming on to The Lion King, which was the best part, and Jenny, the first song, because of these hives, because I went to the first aid, they're not allowed to give out medication. So I had to go out, run to the nearest Sainsbury's, get um, antihistamines, run back, and then we waited in the queue for the disgusting cider. But apart from that, it was a really good night. Um, and because it was Edinburgh, I just got the train back. Got the train to Edinburgh at half eight and the train from Edinburgh to Newcastle is like ten past nine. So I've got an early start. I hate packing. I've left it to the last minute. As per. Why did I do this to myself? My throat's gone again. I kind of got my voice back earlier and now it's just gone again because of the gig. I'll update you in the morning when I get up and on the way to Newcastle and etc. So, yeah, I'll speak to you soon.
Hi guys, oh my god, today has been so stressful. Um, I've only had like three, four hours sleep and then I had to get the train into Edinburgh. That went fine. Thought I was going to miss the train as my usual self does, but I didn't. I got the train, got into Edinburgh, thought I had the right train to go to Newcastle. I was sitting on a train and then it said it was to London King's Cross but it was still going to Newcastle but it was the wrong time so I was on the wrong train. Finally got sat down, everything was fine. Um, I had a little nap on the train but it only took like an hour and a half to get to Newcastle so I was only like dozing and then got to the train station and then that's when it all went wrong. I needed to go to the Novotel and you had to get the metro to the airport and then a taxi from the airport to the Novotel and it was a big faff but I couldn't find the metro at all. There was signs for the metro everywhere but any sign that like it would point one way I'd go that way and then there'd be another sign with the metro pointing a totally different way so I was so confused and I had to FaceTime my best friend because she is good at directions and stuff to FaceTime her and show her all the signs so that she could direct me to the right bit then I eventually got there thanks to her <laughs> it's been so funny well it's not funny at the time I've only just sat down but yeah so I made it to the hotel the taxi was like £10 for less than 5 minutes and I just, I don't even care. I was just so happy to get to the hotel and relax. I think I'm going to go for a, a nap. Um, Ryan's still at his course and I think he finishes about 6. And just now it's like, what time is it? It's like, oh, where? I've lost my phone. I keep doing this, I keep losing my phone. I thought I'd left it in the taxi and then had a big panic, but I've got it. Got it. So it's 12.05, so pardon me, I've been travelling since half, that's probably a really unflattering angle, I've been travelling since about half eight, so I am so tired, I think I'm going to go for a nap, like I said, and then I'll get some studying done before Ryan gets back at six. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Hi. Today is Sunday. I didn't get a chance to vlog yesterday at all. After Ryan got back, I, I think I just forgot. But it was a bit boring anyway. We didn't do much. Went to Tesco for a bit. And the Tesco in Newcastle is amazing. Like where we're staying, it's so big compared to the one near our house. So I enjoyed going there, how sad is that? And then we just went back to the hotel, had some dinner. We watched Friends with Benefits because that was on the television. And then yeah, just went to sleep. Nothing exciting. But today I've got a lot of work to do. So Ryan's away, he left about half eight this morning. Yeah, I'm just working through some study and stuff. And then Ryan's meant to get back about six but he thinks he'll be earlier today so that's good he'll be I was going to say he'll be home early but he'll be back at the hotel early but I don't think we've got anything planned I've got so much to do for uni I've just wrote a to-do list for uni and it is the length of an A4 page so needless to say I need to get on with that today but I've got an essay due on Thursday so, yeah, that's what's happened with me. For breakfast, I had some cucumber sticks, I'll show you. I had some cucumber sticks that I chopped up yesterday. And this is pesto hummus, which is really good. So that's what I've had. This is my little station for working on the bed. I've got an apple sitting in case I want that. Yeah, this is my to-do list, guys. Look how long it is. That's terrible. Mm. 
need to jump in. You need to jump in. Would you like to have a little jump in the car? You wouldn't care. You would. Jump in the car, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. I'm gonna walk in several. Gotcha. We're just in the car. Mine's hiding from me. It doesn't want to be on camera. I'm just gonna do some stuff in. My nails have got so much worse. Hi, we're just back. We went to the pool for a bit. I didn't go in, but Ryan went for a little swim to ease his muscles after his big long day doing his course and then I just did my studying book that I've got here. Oh, it's taken so long to get through this to-do list but anyway Ryan's in the shower just now and then we need to decide what we're doing for dinner but I don't know yet. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. We decided on Chinese. That's that there. And I had to steal forks. <laughs> 